Hey guys, I'm gonna give you a walkthrough of the iMovie for iPad and it's pretty, pretty amazing. Now you have to keep in mind, there you go, see a little nice the theatrical um, <clears throat> opening. Keep in mind you have to leave this widescreen to get the full benefit of iMovie because if you're like me, keep it vertical, you're gonna be missing some controls. So make sure that the iPad is widescreen when you wanna use this. So I'm gonna go ahead and start a new project down below. Right here on top here, you're gonna see uh, your video and here's the timeline where you're gonna put your tracks and then here's all my footage that I have on my iPad if I want to go here I can grab camera roll if I go here I can have all different music theme music that they give you if I go back there's sound effects alarms applause if I go back you can find your iTunes music I have no music on here so essentially you have right here your videos photos and music if you want to use them. So obviously the first thing we want to do, I want to drag one of my clips. So I'm going to find right here, all I have to do is select it and you have that arrow just to put it in. So I click that and it, it drops it automatically. And here you have, it's a minute and 31 seconds. And what's awesome and makes it really simple is that if you just basically f flick, you know, this way left to right, you'll see that the uh, the, t the timeline moves and where the sync the sync point is actually moves with you so you don't have to do anything fancy you just move like this if we press play it just plays and if I move it around I just click press play again it moves it so you have the full <laughs> clip right here okay so what the basics of this is let me zoom in a little bit if you actually uh, pinch in it will actually zoom in to the clip so if I click it you'll see the end points you could actually trim from left to right so you need now it says 43 seconds I could trim from the beginning and that's the very basic thing if you want to get rid of uh, an act, you know saying action or you want to get rid of um, something that was stupid in the beginning so I'm actually gonna I'm gonna drag it back all the way out so now I see it's a minute and 31 seconds again now it's long so I got the whole clip um, one of the things that people don't know is so let me just play play this another very one of the most important features is splicing so let's say I want to play this and I want to cut I want to cut that out so what I can do is I just need to click it once it's selected I can slice right down the center and it's it splits it and then if I keep playing say I want to cut that out it also I'll clip I'll select this clip it's separated into two clips and I'll splice it and now let's say I don't want this clip right here this is some some stuff in the center that I don't need I can just double click and click delete clip and it's gone now if I play this over here you'll see that it cuts some stuff out. So I'm just going to undo. As you see up here, it's awesome. You have an undo button. And I'm going to undo that. Now, what's cool about the splicing feature is, like, let's say you want to replay something else. How's it going, baby? You doing good? Let's say I want to I wanna have myself saying that twice. How's it going, baby? Ryan? twice. So I spliced it. If I click this, and then you have, you can expand with these arrows. What happens is, this is a little, conf it looks like it's confusing, but what happens is it, it basically... It, do, it, it creates the rest of the clip in another layer down here and it gives you the ability to drag and drop from left to right to get whatever you want so for example let me move this along over here I want to play this so I got myself saying that so now let's say I, I can take this at the bottom here this circle I can move it to the left now I'll have more of what was up here. It'll actually just play it again. So let me just. So you see, it played that again. So if you want to, and you could actually also cut more out this way. I'm moving it all, and what is it? It's doing is basically, it's another way of also cutting a clip, things in the center that you want to get rid of. Press play. How's it going? 
and then jump to the next you know section so it actually cut some stuff out in the middle which is pretty cool so instead of splicing twice and delineating a clip you could actually just splice once expand and then move the track at the bottom left or right wherever you want or the track on the top so it's like it's basically duplicating the timeline the the clips and allowing you to you know sync them however you like so if i close this again boom it's done and it got rid of that i could expand it again and I can, I can play with it again. So that's very key, a lot of people don't know. Um, they give you themes here at, at the top here. And if you turn on theme music, it'll basically give you the theme. So as you see here, pro oh, let me click it again. You have the project settings, bright, playful, so I click playful, and it automatically just basically adds um, a certain type of music. And also when you add titles, it gives it a personality to it. So I'll go ahead and play that. So I added that music. I could also just double click that music and just delete the clip, delete the um, the, the the audio. So now let's say you want to add um, another clip over here. Let's say I have this one. I want to add it. Boom! It adds it right in between. Wherever you got to be careful where your cursor is because it'll add it at the closest uh, trim point. So there you have it right there, so it's right in the center, and it'll just it'll cut, it'll crossfade to the next clip. How's it going, baby? Baby. Yeah. Now you got that clip. And now let's say you just want to get trim that and just clo click it, select this point, make it go closer, and now it will just yeah. Doing good. also cut into the next. I could also let me close this. If you double, if you double click that, it will allow you to cross dissolve whatever you want, and then give you the amount of seconds. So let's say we go with two seconds. So it'll do the same thing that it was done over here. So you can add your transition. Boom! Amazing, right? So you got the the transitions. So you know how to add audio. You know how to trim. You know how to splice. And now you know how to add transitions. The theme always comes with its own fade in fade out so if you click the settings based on your theme you could also click fade in from black fade out to black and it adds this icon right here and now you'll see that it'll actually fade in okay um, a trick to change the music is turn off is basically delete the theme music right how I deleted earlier and then go to your theme music right here from the audio from your own library and then you could put in modern whatever you want I'll press play so now it changed the audio and it's not using the audio from the playful theme unless I turn this back on the theme music and now it actually reloaded and it's using the old audio so that's how you can add your audio. Now for titles, you can just play this, right? Make sure it's good. So now what you can do is double click and you could add location, you get the audio, you can make it higher or lower and the title style. And the title style is a little tricky. It says opening, middle, ending, but this changes according to the theme. So it's not very clear, but if I click opening, you'll see it'll add the title right here. Oh, let's see if I do it at the middle. And it does that. So then I could just double click the title. I could add Cutest Baby. Boom. And then what it does is puts the title throughout the whole clip. Uh, the other thing is if you don't want the if you want the title transition, um, like over here. We have the cutest baby. Let's say I don't want it to last for that long. I could actually splice right down the center. And now it's going to stop the title for that clip. So you have to splice in order to stop the title from going. So I'm going to put the title for the clip. So another awesome feature is if a lot of people are asking, how can you put multiple 
audio tracks um, on the same in the same movie or in the same clip because it seems like it only puts one. So what you have to do is the trick is number one, if your theme is on, <clears throat> if you have theme music on, you can't. It's it's gonna it's gonna basically loop the music. Um, so if you no matter what you do, it's just basically gonna loop what's there. Because um, if you delete it, if I delete this clip, and even if I add something else, again, it just pretty much, it just pretty much loops it. But what happens is, if you end up taking, removing the clip and put your own, it automatically turns off theme music. So that's no longer on, and it takes off loop background music. And now you have basically the, the audio clip as is, and you could trim. And then if I want to add something else over here, I can go ahead and add simple, boom. And now you have two, and I'll show you. And now you see how it changed the audio, and that's awesome. And if you decide to add your own, you could go back and add your own um, music from your own playlist. And be careful because when you change the theme, it's gonna rewrite all the audio. It's gonna re remove what you had. So you make sure you want the theme that you set the theme uh, first, and then don't change it if you want to make changes to the audio. No, oh, another cool feature I completely forgot is you can actually. Oh, by the way, this thing right here toggles. <clears throat> The audio, if you want, it's good to see it so then you know where the peaks are, where there's no sound or where there's sound. <clears throat> and then you could actually just click the microphone if you want to record right over this. So let's say I go hit record. Hey, oh, it's counting down. Hey, how are you doing? You're so cute. You're so cute. And I stop it and I'll hit click review to hear what I just did. And you see, hey, how are you doing? You're so cute. You're so cute. Amazing, right? Look at that. And added this clip right here. I'll click accept. If you want to discard it, retake, and I'll click accept. Boom. It added this file right here. Click play. Hey, how are you doing? You're so cute. You're so cute. And then he's <laughs> laughing. And now you can also add sound effects. So if I go to audio and I go to sound effects, I can add whatever I want. Let's see what this does. <laughs> so added that so there's my my voice with the sound you could double click the sound and you could make it you know if you want to lower the volume on the clip on the sound you could do that as well you could also add your own video right inside which is kind of cool too so while this is going on I could just cut in and add like a commentary so I click this and I can record video live of me just talking I'm not gonna do that now but you see it loads right here and you can just click and obviously it's a black screen right now but if you click record there it is recording I'll stop it and it tells you use or retake so if you click use it'll go in if you click retake now I can cancel it so it goes back so that's cool so if you want to take live footage and put it in boom you want to make commentary you can add it or if you want to add video from your video files that you have here and you're done so here it is now when you want to export this you're done you go back to my what's awesome is that if this stops it saves everything exactly the way it is so you click my projects and there's a file we just played with and if you want to just press play it'll play it if you want to forward it now this is how you can actually just send it you share your movie to the camera roll to YouTube Facebook Vimeo wherever you want to CNN interesting or write to iTunes what's awesome is that if I want to just send it to iTunes it actually does it wirelessly so boom and there it is sending the project to iTunes on my computer because it's already synced that is an awesome feature, so you, need no, you don't need to do anything except you need to transfer your files um, from the computer, the raw footage, to the, iP to the iPad to do this. So it's pretty, pretty amazing. And there it is. Your project will appear in the file sharing section of iTunes, my project. And if I want to delete, I can delete. If I want to copy from iTunes, so now it shows that this project is on iTunes. So this is, I should have showed you this in the beginning, but if you want to bring in something from iTunes, right there that you have it so it's out of it's exported there you have it the iMovie um, it's amazing and I'm just gonna if I double click that let me just change the name 
I'll name it the cutest baby. Oh, I don't know how to spell. Cutest baby. Done. And there you have it. iMovie is pretty thorough for home videos, whatever. Uh, it can really do a lot. If you're going to do a professional film, obviously, you can't do things like, um, you know, scale. It can't scale the size of the video. Oh, it can rotate. I didn't show you that. You can actually rotate a clip, but it's rare that you do it. Um, but if you want just basic dialogue, adding multiple uh, clips, adding music, adding sound, it's bar none one of the best most you know portable movie editing software ever enjoy guys